What's up guys? So I want to work on the C10 a little bit. Black Pearl. And uh, try to get this thing going so I can get out and use it this summer. You know, it's cruising season. I need to be in the truck. I need to be showing it off. May even do like a kill fab thing on it. So definitely uh, hope to get some exposure. Anyway, a couple things I want to do to it. Power brakes. So I'm going to put a brake booster on it. And it doesn't have any seat belts in it. And I wanted to do some fabrication and add like a three point belt, like a modern day belt. It's got modern day seats in it. So I think what's going to end up happening with this truck is it's going to have, uh, you know, an old and a, and a new feel to it. Like I'm going to kind of take that throughout the truck. Modern day seats, I'm going to leave them. Probably a modern day stereo system. Um, at some point, we'll probably LS swap the thing. So, you know, old and new. The whole thing is going to be like that. One of the things I wanted to make sure that it was safe for my family to ride around in and a three-point belt will make it safe. These seats in this trunk already have like the mounts to mount the, the belt to the bottom here and then it has the mount on the inside where it, it clicks in. The only thing it didn't have, or at least I didn't think it had, was the, the upper mounts on the pillar here. And I was just going to fabricate some brackets to go up in there, maybe recess a nut or something for this piece to screw into. And so I just went ahead and ordered the belts, figured I would figure it out later. But, to my surprise, these trucks actually did have a mount up here for a three-point belt. I didn't know that. And it just happens to be the exact same thread size that came on these belts. So, should make this a little bit easier. The only thing I'll have to do now is make a mount on the floor for the retractor, which should be pretty easy. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. We've got three-point belts. Taking the seats out is not 100% necessary, I don't guess, for these seat belts. Just a couple little things I want to fix, and taking the seats out is going to make everything else easier. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put power brakes on this thing, so changing the booster, I'm going to have to get up under the dash. The seats are out of here, I can just lay in the floor, get up under there, do everything I need to do. The throttle pedal actually mounts on some floor mounted uh, little ball, and so I'm going to fix those two while I got it out. Check it, check it. Basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a bracket in order to hold this retractor. Now this retractor has to be perfectly vertical because that's the only way that it will actually pull out. And then say you're in an accident, it's got a little like cantilever in there. The inertia moves forward, it'll lock it. There's actually a factory bolt here. It looks like it's for a seat belt. It's nice and sturdy. It actually has some reinforcement on the bottom. It's made me a little bracket. Took a little tab on this side. I'll just line everything up, tack it, and then take it over to the bench and tape weld everything. Steady, walk me down the game. Ha, 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 ha. Don't stop, 
Alright, got a small confession. I've already finished a lot on the truck, and as I do sometimes, I get carried away working and not filming. So, I've actually got a lot done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I've done, even though you won't get to see me do it, catch you up, and then we'll continue. Seats are back in. I got seatbelts done. I straightened the carpet. I fixed the gas pedal. See my new seat belts. Safe. So you can see the carpet's straight, and I actually just temporarily have it kind of tucked in. But I bought these little chrome bezel pieces to go in here. They don't look too bad either. I may or may not put those in. Seats are bolted down. It's got these open panels here. This is actually where the belt buckle or the uh, seat belt itself plugs into the seat. Probably going to do some bead rolled aluminum with aircraft rivets or something here to kind of give it a theme. Maybe do like an accent panel here or something. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. I like the new belts. They actually have like an old school look to them versus the button being on the top. It's on the side so kind of takes the seats back just a little bit. Same thing on the driver's side. Inside's pretty good. A couple of things I still want to do. Probably going to change out the steering wheel. This is like a 13 inch steering wheel. Probably go something a little bigger. Maybe 14 inch steering wheel. Going to take out this uh, bezel around the gauges and paint it just to kind of freshen it up. Needs a radio. Maybe even like a sub and an amp in the rear. The other, th the other thing that I got done was... So this truck didn't have power brakes, had power steering, no power brakes, wasn't very safe, wasn't working very well. I actually think the master cylinder was bad. And so when I ordered the booster, I just went ahead and ordered a new master cylinder, put everything on. So far so good, it seems like it works pretty well. So there's the new master cylinder. I like how it's all, you know, just raw metal, so I'll probably like shark hide everything and try to leave it like it is nice and fresh. When I was talking about doing some more aluminum, bead rolled aluminum with maybe aircraft rivets and stuff. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll do it right here on this front piece. So it's got this big open channel. I'll probably make some pieces to go in here that are bead rolled and uh, put some aircraft rivets and stuff in there to kind of sp spruce them up a little bit and make this part tie in with the cab. Maybe even do some stuff on the firewall, so we'll see. Brakes are done, interior's done, except for the little, you know, a few little touches I'm gonna do on the inside. Definitely drivable. So now it's just time to start on the suspension. So for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a two-inch drop block in the rear and a two-inch drop, two and a half-inch drop spindle up front. I'm gonna see what it looks like after that. Kind of see what the tire clearance is like, and then I may actually. Uh, do a drop spring or maybe airbags or something so but I'm not gonna do it right now Just gonna do these these two components and then see what it looks like see how it drives Truck does have 22s on it right now 22s on the shoes. I don't really care for them a whole lot. They're not really bad, but they're not really good either so my plans are Not to buy any wheels and tires right now. I'm gonna try to make these work. It's gonna be an experiment. We'll see uh I don't know, I'll just see. Get it lowered first and then move on to the next thing, the next experiment. There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever pitch is bringing me out the dark. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your shit bare. See how I live you with every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark The scars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars of your love, they leave me breathless I can't help feeling we could have had it all I heard 
open door Count your blessings to find what you look for Turn my sorrow into treasure gold You'll pay me back in 